So how did it feel to get rid of that five game losing streak? Feels great. We put in the work this whole week and you know it was great to see that uh showing out there and you know everybody happy and we get the win on our home court. Eric you had, uh, you had a heck of a first half. Were you a little more energized today or anything like that? Uh no, I had uh had to sit out a couple practices and I got to watch a little bit. So uh, when I did get back on the court, uh, I was just happy to get back on the court and uh bring back the energy that I started off with. You guys gave up 52 second half points. A little disappointing in your defensive effort there in the second half? Uh, I think we got a little relaxed on the defensive end. Uh, you know, they a couple of their shooters got open and made knockdown shots when they needed to. But, uh, you know, in the first half, we, we did a real good job of uh, our defense, and, you know, we got to carry it over to the second half. Jared, you had six assists tonight. Were you looking to pass the ball more, especially in the first half, to get your teammates involved? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I was sitting down and watching film with the coaches this week, and they told me uh, a lot of my shots were being forced. And, you know, I seen that some of my teammates were open in the film. So um, once I got the ball and just created some uh, space, you know, I seen them and I was passing it off. So, you know, that helped me today, helped me get going, and helped them get going too. And you guys obviously saw something where you could get inside tonight because you dominated the paint. Well, uh, Washburn got in some early foul trouble, so we were. Uh actually bigger in the first half. So um, we did a good job of getting the ball down and getting some easy buckets inside. It seemed like Joe had a really nice bounce back game. How much do you think that had to do with wearing the turquoise uniforms and just getting back into it and having him play well again? Yeah, these turquoise uniforms definitely mean a lot to Joe. And, uh, you know, when we put him on, you know, he's a different player. And, you know, um, he plays he plays hard in these uniforms. So we, I think we got to keep wearing them. We're going to keep winning like this. Yeah. How important is it for you guys to have Burton being Burton again. It's very important. Uh, you know, he's you know he's been in a kind of a slump, and you know we've done a great job of trying to help him out and you know get him going. And you know he showed uh, showed out early in, in the game today, and and he played hard. And you know definitely when we wore these Starcrest uniforms, he definitely gonna play hard. So he played hard today, and that's what we needed. A uh, question for both you guys: Does it feel good to kind of finally get that monkey off your back and kind of play the way that you guys know you're capable of playing and actually get the win? Yeah, well, we've been working really hard on defense over this past week and to um, actually bring it into this game and, and, and uh, you know, you want to take it into every game. We have Utah and then Colorado and then we got the um, the tournament. So we want to take it these one games at a time and, you know, take it to Colorado next and then go on to the tournament. For you, Jerry. Yeah, we definitely uh, did a great job today, but uh, you know we got to forget about this one. We played, everybody played great, and we did well. We got the win, and that's what our goal was. And we got to come out tomorrow and practice and be prepared for uh, you know Colorado. They're gonna come out hard, yeah. being like this is the last game, and it's gonna be on senior night. So we got to prove that you know, we can win another game and uh, just play hard. Uh, with a team like Utah, where you're kind of expected to win, or you feel like you're the better team, how important is it to jump out and get on them right away to kind of establish your lead? It was very important. We used our athleticism and size, uh, you know, to score early on. And you know, once we got in transition, we made a lot of great plays and you know, great finishes at the rim. And uh, to see that and just keep on doing that, that's what uh, Beaver basketball is. And we just got to keep on pushing. Could you tell on the court that you guys were more athletically gifted than they were? Uh, you know, they, they're a good team. Uh, you know, they beat some couple teams in our league, and uh, we just wanted to play hard for our crowd and for ourselves. And, you know, it showed out there. We shared the ball real well, and we just got the win, and we got to keep this rolling. Can you talk about the dunk there in the second half? R double pump there a little? Yeah. Uh, you know, Joe Burton does a great job of passing me the ball when he I'm open. He owed us for that, that first fast break. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. you know, um, we set it up. You know, he told me to come around to uh, call it out and uh, just fake it. And I went back door and he found me. And, uh, you know, just from there on, I just tried to jump as high as I could and put the ball through the rim. Eric, were you surprised at all with the game getting out of hand in the first half that Washburn sat with two fouls for most of the half? Uh, no, um, I was surprised. I mean, if he has two fouls. I mean, coach, that was coach's decision. So we took advantage with our with our height and uh, athleticism. Got it down low and got some easy baskets down low. Um, it was well, can't say it's a bad thing. I mean, we took advantage of it and you know took it to the second half. Uh, Hines didn't score until well into the second half. Uh, what were you guys doing uh, that was working against him tonight? Just denying the ball and finding. Uh, you know, just finding him in transition and limiting his touches. Uh, he's a great shooter, but, you know, we did a great job of finding him and limiting his touches and, 
you know, he really couldn't get really that many shots off that he wanted in the first half. And, you know, he kind of got going a little later in the second half, but, you know, that was, you know, bound to happen. You know, he's a good shooter. He's going to make some shots. But we did a great job winning this game. Not to rain on your parade a little bit, but what do you remember from that Colorado game? Um, we didn't execute as well as we should have. Um, you know, uh, you know, we can't make it really an excuse for that game. We got to play with our heart, and we got to play the whole 40 minutes. You guys use a loss like that to kind of motivate you when you play them again? Definitely, definitely. Uh, they're a good team. You know, every team in this conference is a good team. You know, so you got to play every night. You got to play like it's your last, and we have to do that against them. And, you know, it's going to be a good crowd. We got senior night coming up, so we just got to play hard. Was Reese hanging on the rim? I feel like, you know, when you're a dunker and you get the momentum, you're going forward, you really can't let go or you're going to really – you're going to fall on your butt. But, you know, uh, the refs called it, and, you know, we, we had to live with it. So – 